Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. If you're new here or you have not already, please hit subscribe and help us feed a hungry hippo. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up as you're listening along. Today is April 17th. It's a Monday, so you know what that means. It's time for What Sold on eBay! Y'all, we had a great weekend. Last week's sales weren't great, but they were good, and they were actually better than they had been, and they were increasingly getting better all week. I'm not sure if this is a fluke or we're finally seeing the rewards for all of the hard work that we've been putting in. Uh, in the past few weeks, we kind of changed how we do things around here. I'm taking all the pictures and Keith is doing all the listing, which actually is working out better because when you're focusing on batch work like that, like I'm just doing photos, you can get more done. You can spend larger chunks of time on one particular task. And so Keith is listing around, I want to say 40 to 50 a day. It averages out. There's some days like on Wednesdays when we go to the thrift store and we go to the grocery store and uh, do all of our other errands. He might only be hitting 30 that day. Um, he's trying to go ahead and work a little bit on Saturdays to um, make up the difference if he doesn't quite hit at least 200 for the week. So this is what we've been doing for a couple of weeks and it was getting kind of frustrating. I'm going to be honest because I'm always honest and transparent and reselling isn't always glamorous and fun and sometimes it really sucks and sometimes it's bad, but um, we were frustrated and we felt like we were spinning our wheels in the mud because if you're that active on eBay, you should definitely be seeing more sales. Um, but sometimes it does take a week or two to uh, see the results of your efforts in starting new things and doing new things. So I think we might finally be seeing the fruits of our labor, so to speak. You can see that this offer keeps popping up and it's driving me crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and deal with it while we're talking. Um, but yeah, we're finally seeing the, the fruits of our labor, I think. Uh, because the sales last week, like I said, were getting better every day. And the weekend was great. I mean, this weekend was like pre Moved to Florida weekend. It's a 0.5% sell through rate. We sold over 30 items on all our platforms um, and high dollar items, which you'll see here in this video. Uh, it's like people have money again or something. Or, like I said, it could just be a flip, or we could be finally being rewarded for our hard work. So, we're going to keep it up at this rate of listing, you know, at 40 a day, 200 a week minimum. Um, and I'll continue to take all the pictures up here. Um, and see if our sales continue to get better or even, you know, more because the more you have listed, the more you sell. So that all said, um, if your weekend wasn't great and your sales aren't doing good, please don't feel discouraged. I'm not here to brag or flex on anyone. I'm just really excited because finally our sales aren't in the toilet. Um, but it's, sales are still slow for a lot of folks. Um, and if they are for you and you're not sure what to do, um, I did a live show last Friday, basically just full of uh, what tasks and to do's you can do when sales are slow, how to cope with it, some motivational stuff in there. I'll have it pop up at the end. But we're going to go ahead and jump on in and look at last week's sales. We're looking at April 10th through the 16th. We're going to start with the plush, just like always. Um, I show you all the plush that sell and then just the highlights of the week. I don't just show you like the highlight reel. I do show bread and butter items. And when we make mistakes, I show those as well. No mistakes this week. Plenty of bread and butter. Let's jump on in. This is a Kohl's Cares plush. I like Kohl's Cares. I think it's a solid bread and butter brand. And then depending on the character, it can be a bolo. Most Kohl's Cares are going to be based on children's literary characters from books like Cornelius here. He is from a book by Leo Leoni, and he's cute. He's really cute. I honestly don't remember where he came from. I'm sure he came from a wholesale lot. Um, you can see his original price was $5, which is kind of cool. 
because he did sell for $15.99 and he ships first class. Next up, we have an Angel Deer Raccoon Lovey. So this is like the lower end of Loveys. I always tell you they're bolos, and they are. There are some Loveys that will sell for $50 and more. dollars. A lot of them fall in that $20 to $40 range, and then you're going to have your bread and butters that are lower than that. I always grab Loveys. Uh, if you don't like filler items or bread and butter, go ahead and comp them before you source them. Um, just to make sure you're not getting, because I don't mind these. Like we buy plush and wholesale and the cost of goods is low enough that it doesn't matter to me if stuff is bread and butter or filler. I took a best offer of $9 on this one. I've had this one for a long time. It was a 50 cent find at Goodwill. Um, I can tell because this is our old photo setup. It, you can kind of very vaguely see the wrinkles in the paper. So we used to have like a photo stand with lights and paper a whole big old setup which we don't need anymore thanks to list perfectly's background remover i can throw stuff on the floor and um take pictures and then remove the background and it looks like that love list perfectly all right so this sold for nine dollars best offer shipped first class this guy came in a wholesale lot he was probably around about a dollar and he is real tiny. He's only four inches tall. He's like a little, um, he's got a hook on his head, a little loop. Uh, and he sold for $12.49, even though he's so tiny. Isn't he cute? I think he is so stinking cute. I love Stitch. Of course, he shipped first class because he's so small. And then we have this Gans Webkins Littlekins. Gans, I tell you guys all the time, hit or miss. Uh, they can sell from $10 to $60, depending on what you find. This is something you want to pay attention to when you get Gans. Often, they will have what they are on their tag. This is the Lilkins White Terrier. So you want to put White Terrier in your title. And then you want to put the number HS106. Collectors do look for these when they search for them. So you want to include them and you also want to mention whether or not you have the code. He sold for $11.99, shipped first class. All right, so those were the four plush. Now we're going to get into the clothing. This is American Eagle, one solid bread and butter brand. I'm telling you, American Eagle, Old Navy, and Gap are my three favorite bread and butters. They sell consistently. They sell pretty quickly for clothes. I mean, clothes are long tail. Uh, in general, most clothes take six months or more to sell, especially oversaturated brands. Um, but most of our American Eagle Gap and Old Navy will sell six, right at six months or less. I mean, they have a pretty good sell through rate. They sell consistently. They have a brand loyalty. They have customers that look for the specific jeans they like, and they come online to shop. You can sell them for $20 all day long. Um, Sometimes we'll add a couple of bucks if they've got something going on, like button fly, next level stretch. Um, the, yeah, these should have been a little bit more, but that's okay. Um, men's, you can start at like 25. So, you know, we get these for 99 cents, but if you're going to the bends and paying by the pound, if you can find sales in your area where you can get these for a dollar or two even, um, that's kind of pushing it, dollar fifty maybe. Um, dried up boxes have this brand in it all the time. I like them. They are consistent sellers. Um, any of the styles, any sizes. There's a lot of brands out there where I have to be diligent about only size 14 or bigger or only boyfriend cut or boot cut or whatever. You know, these three, American Eagle Gap and Old Navy, I, if I find them, I buy them. <laughs> so uh, that's how much I love them. These sold for $19.99 and they shipped. They shipped <laughs> in a flat rate envelope, the cardboard mailer. Okay, so a couple weeks ago, probably more like a month ago, when we went to Salvation Army and hit the 99 cent day there, I found a bunch of plus size women's jeans. A lot of them were new at tags, some weren't, some were used. 
Um, but they were all 99 cents and they were all poop brands, but they were plus size. And I love buying plus size jeans, even if they're not great brands, especially if they're new attacks. Um, but I did last week get them measured and photographed and Keith got them listed and a ton of them sold over the weekend. So they're all in here. We'll get to them as we go through this and I'll tell you if they're from that lot that I bought that day. I say lot, but um, I just hit the jackpot. I came home with so many plus size jeans for only 99 cents. So this is one of those. This one was new with tags. It, terrible poop brand, you know, but for 99 cents to have the tags still on them, um, you can even see the original price was only $16.97. They're size 24W and they sold within a week of being listed. So, I mean, they went pretty quickly. They sold for $17.99 on a best offer. They did ship in a cardboard mailer. Next up, we have a Lucky Brand Women's Top. I've mentioned this on here before, but if you haven't heard me mention it, a lot of the popular jeans brands also make women's blouses and t-shirts and men's too. And I always grab them when I find them, especially when they're only 99 cents, which this one was, but I buy Madewell, Cut from the Cloth, Lucky Brand, True Religion, um, Bowden. It's a London brand of jeans I love. I like their tops as well. They usually sell for bread and butter prices, um, but they sell quickly and they'll ship first class. So this Lucky Brand top sold for $13.99, shipped first class, and, you know, our cost was $0.99. Cents. It's really cute, unique blouse. Next up, Guess. This is another bread and butter brand that I like. A lot of people will pass on this brand, and that's okay because then I have less competition. <laughs> Um, but I like it. I think it sells pretty consistently as well. It ha definitely has a brand loyalty and it is hard to find if you're not buying it online used anymore. So this pair sold for $17.99 on a best offer and they shipped um, in a cardboard mailer and cost 99 cents. Here's another uh, example of a quote unquote jeans brand. Uh, item I buy that's not jeans. This is a sundress and this was actually in with the women's tops I found it at Goodwill and I was just kind of glancing through the tops to see what they had that day And I saw lucky brand. I'm like yay, but it was a dress and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna see what happens um, It didn't take that long to sell. I think maybe like a month, maybe two um, It sold for $24.99 For a sundress that we paid 99 cents for so don't sleep on these brands guys it shipped first class, by the way. So you guys just recently saw these in a thread up haul. Not the most recent thread up haul, the one before that. Um, I believe I put it on the channel in March around St. Patrick's Day, about a month ago. And I pulled these out of the box. I was so excited because they were Joe's jeans. Found out they were girls. But, you know, look, they still sell for $19.99. So those Bolo brand jeans, even in the kids' sizes, do sell for good money. Um, my cost on these was $1.70 something, I think, per piece out of that thread up box. Um, they're little girls. They're Joe's. And they sold for $19.99. And they sold pretty fast. Um, very pleased with that. And they did ship first class. This is an example of another poop brand I will grab when it's 99 cents. Shorts. I kind of avoid this brand in full length pants or jeans. Even if it's 99 cents, this is kind of something I would leave behind. Um, but booty shorts are like this whole other category on their own. And I've talked about this before too. There are poop brands of jeans that I will pass on. But the shorts I'll grab because they'll sell quick and for good money. Even some of the better brands of jeans, the shorts can sell for more money than the jeans. Um, I just love the jean shorts. I call them booty shorts sometimes, cutoffs, whatever you want to call them. I grabbed these because clearly they're new attacks. They're bright color. I thought they were cute. They were 99 cents. <laughs> they took less than a month to sell and they sold for our asking price of um, $17.99 and they did ship first class. 
Here's some um, Levi's classic slum capris. So this is like your Levi's that are going to sell for $20. Levi's um, come in all kinds of numbers. Levi's 505, 710. Um, Levi's is kind of like a learning curve. You have to learn the brand. Some of them will go for 50 or more dollars. The Levi's denizens and like this that's kind of just no number or whatever, usually around 20. Um, if you're interested, I do have a section in my jeans guide that goes over Levi's as well as chapters on how to tell rise, wash, style, uh, men's from women's. It's a pretty good guide. It has hundreds of brands in their sell through rates, their average sale price. It's chock full of information. And if you're interested in it, there is a link in the description box. You can grab your copy for $24.99. These sold, I'm checking my list. I sold them for best offer of $18. Um, my list. I'm checking my notes. I'm not Santa. I don't have a list. My notes. I got these for $0.99. Cents and I believe they shipped in a cardboard mailer. Lane Bryant. So this was the day that I found all the plus sizes that I told you about. This was that day I found these as well. Now these are actually, a, you know, a good brand you want to be on the lookout for. I did send an offer of $22.49 to a buyer on this. They accepted. Um, they shipped in a cardboard mailer. And yes, you guys, I'm pretty magic. I need to record it someday. I can get the biggest jeans into a 9 by 12 uh, clear poly bag and then into those cardboard mailers and get them shot. Um, I'll have to record myself one day because it's pretty cool how I do it. I can get really, really big um, items into these cardboard mailers and they save you so much money when you're shipping. So these were 99 cents, sold for $22.49 and shipped in the cardboard mailer. Here's another pair from that same day. Uh, these are just for women. Uh, again, it's kind of a blit brand, um, but plus size, 99 cents, sold super fast, $22.99 on a best offer, and they also shipped in a cardboard mailer. JMS, just my size, women's plus size jeans, same day. So um, they're all starting to sell. Like I started to get them photographed, measured. Keith was getting them listed, and now they're all starting to sell within like a week or two. It's just crazy how fast plus size can sell, even these brands. And this one's not new with tags. Um, this one sold for $19.24, shipped in a cardboard. They were all $0.99, cents, by the way. All right, the IZOD Advantage Polo Shirt. This is a brand we'll typically leave behind, even on $0.99 cents day, except this one is a 3XL, which is a good size, and it was new with tags. We did take a best offer on this of 17 shipped first class and our cost was 99 cents. If I didn't say that here's some Terra sky jeans. This is a Walmart brand, but you know what? This was the day that I found all the plus size jeans. I'm going to start referring to that day as the day of the plus size jeans. I mean, I hit the jackpot by the time I even just got out of the plus size section, my cart was overflowing and I still had to go through the um, other sizes and men's. Um, but this was another pair we found that day. And you can see how quick they're selling because they've only been up for maximum two weeks. But I think it was last week when he started putting them up. So probably a week. They're poopy brands, but they're selling and they're selling fast. And we got them for only 99 cents. And this is like a Walmart brand, right? But it's a 4X, sold for $19.24. And I did manage to get this bad boy in a cardboard mail or two. Next up, another lucky brand. So this is a blouse. Um, it is a plus size, 1X. My cost on this was, I want to say $1.50. May have been 99 cents, but I feel like this was one that was half off. Um, really pretty purple colors, nice long sleeves. This sold for $17.49 and shipped first class. Then we have a bolo brand here. This is Judy Blue. Um, I found a ton of these uh, recently as well. I knew to look for these, and in all my years of reselling, I had never found Judy Blue. Not in a thread up box, not in a wholesale lot, 
not ever in the wild. And I've thrifted in, you know, four or five different states. But then I found a bunch one day at the Salvation Army here. Some were new with tags. Some weren't. There was like six or seven pairs in one day. And then for several weeks in a row, every time I went back, I would find a couple pairs. Um, it was like I opened the, the faucet. But I haven't found any since. But I did find quite a few pairs of jeans of this brand. Most of them have sold. We still got a couple around. Um, some sold on Poshmark. Some sold on eBay. But this is definitely a bolo brand you guys want to be on the lookout for called Judy Blue. This pair sold for $34.99. And I believe they went in a cardboard mailer. Yep. All right. Then we have Wrangler. So Wranglers don't sell for very much, but they sell very quickly. And they sell consistently. Whenever I find, especially men's, Wrangler jeans for 99 cents, I will grab them. So, you know, I know not everyone has 99 cents at where they live at their thrifts, but if you're getting Ben's prices or, you know, you do thread ups, Wranglers are good to list. You can start the men's around $25. We usually take best offers on them or run sales. Like you can see, this was a 30% off sale. So they sold for $21.87. You know, our cost was 99 cents, and these did ship in a cardboard mailer. Next up, we have Levi's 569. So these ones, I usually start around 30, the 569s. They're men's. The women's, I would start around 25. And these were on our 30% off sale, and then we did an offer as well. I took 20 on them. Um, I found these for 99 cents, so I did take 20. Um, but you can start them around 30 and go from there. The thing is, is when you run sales and you do best offers, you're not contributing to that race to the bottom and you're not being a part of the problem that brings down the value of brands across the board. If you're pricing high and you're keeping things at their, their normal value, you can run sales, you can do offers, and you can go lower if you need to, if you want to. If you need to get sales or things are slow, but you're not contributing to the problem because when the sale is over, they go back up to that $30. Makes sense. And then here's another uh, pair of that Lee brand, LEI. These are cute. <laughs> I grabbed these because of how they look. They are camo. They are really short booty shorts. They are cutoffs. They're junior sizes. They're the Ashley Low Rise. I always do well with the LEI. I call it Lee, but I'm sure it's just LEI. Um, the Ashley Low Rise booty shorts in this brand, the junior sizes, always do well for us. Love, love these. They were so super cute. For only 99 cents, they sold in under a week of being listed for $21.87. We had started them at 25 but they were on our 30% off sale we run every weekend. So they went for $21.87. This is a poop brand. Keep that in mind when you're looking at the shorts and the booty shorts. Um, they shipped first class. All right. Drum roll, please. I'm going to show you our best sale of the weekend. Dun, dun, dun. Rock Revival Novella Straight Jeans. These are women's size 30 sold for full asking price of $59.99. These sold Friday evening right before our 20% sale ended and our 30% sale kicked in. So um, had they bought them a little later Friday evening or actually over the weekend, they would have been um, a little bit less even, but they sold for $59.99. You guys, this is a bolo brand. It has been a bolo brand since I started, and it remains a bolo brand. So please do not race to the bottom on this brand. It is one of the very few that over the years has held its value and people have not trashed. And it may be because it's not so oversaturated and it is harder to find. I think in the six, seven years we've been reselling, I may have had... Um, conservatively probably seven to eight pairs of these maybe ten but not very many i don't find them very often 
But when I do, I had a new pair, a pair of, that was new with tags, men's once that I found at a Goodwill. That was an exciting day. I had a couple pairs from Thread Up Boxes and I found a couple in the wild. Um, but this is a brand that's definitely worth money. People will pay money for it. Um, and unlike other brands like Silver and Seven for All Mankind and Miss Me and True Religion that I've just seen completely get trashed by that race to the bottom over the years, these have held their value. Men's, by the way, you can start for even more money. So this is what they look like. They are bright orange inside on the labels. They are very, very nice jeans. Always grab these when you find them and price them high. So that was our exciting sale of the week, our most exciting. Um, but like I said, I have not really found very many of these. These are very few and far between, which is why we have a bread and butter volume based business. Because on 99 cents day, I can find cartloads of plus size jeans that are poop brands, but will sell for 20 to 30 bucks. So I can find tons of the bread and butter brands. These are few and far between. And that is what we sold last week or the highlights. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Go be productive. Go make some money. And I'll see you next time. Bye.